Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, as you can see, this is not a gameplay video. So if you were expecting gameplay, uh, you can go ahead and click away right now. Uh, this is going to be a tutorial on how to create a template for comic books, uh, specifically Western comic books. Um, I'm going to be using Clip Studio Paint, which is a software um, for comic book and illustrators. It's also here in the United States known as Manga Studio. So what we're going to use as a template is this template here from Kablam. Kablam is a on-demand print company. They print comic books for people. Um, I would suggest you go to kablam.com to read their uh, rules and regulations. But this is the template that they um, provide to people who want to print with them. Now, if you want to print with other on-demand print companies, usually they have their own templates, but what I found is that they all pretty much stick to uh, these dimensions or close to these dimensions as um, comic books are pretty much standard. Um, so I I'm going to go with these dimensions and create a template here in Clip Studio Paint. Um, like I said, I'm using Clip Studio Paint version 1.6.2, uh, but this should be the same for Manga Studio. So we're going to go to File, New, and the option we want is this blue option here. This is the comics with all the settings. This is we want to utilize these these settings here. If you go to this this one here, comic comic book, um, you don't get those um, those other options. All you all you get is the bleed, um, and then um, you don't get exactly w w how to create a safe zone or anything. So we're gonna go to this one, which allows you to create um, all the the trim line, the safe zone, and everything. So. The first thing we want to do is, of course, call our file something. So, um, YouTube comic template and change the units from millimeters to inches because um, that's what we work with here in the United States. Um, and so, the first one is the canvas. So, this is uh, basically how big you want your the white paper. Uh, so per Kablam's template, 7 by 10 and a half inches. The resolution, we have several options for resolution. Uh, DPI means uh, dots per inch, and it's also known as PPI, which is pixels per inch. And that's basically if you had a 1 inch by 1 inch square on your monitor, you would have. 72 dots or pixels in that one inch by one inch square on your monitor. Now, if you want to create web comics or comic books on the internet, 72 DPI is all you really need. Um, this looks good enough for internet um, and it keeps your files uh, small enough so that it doesn't take too long to upload them to the internet. Now, if you want to go to print, um, 300. You need 300 or greater. Uh, most print-on-demand printers will suggest 300. That's all they need. Um, that's because 300 will keep your files small enough plus your resolution sharp enough for print work. I myself like to work in 600 DPI. Um, this is very taxing on your processor, so if your computer can't handle this, I would suggest just stick with 300 and you should be okay. But I like to work in 600 um, because I really like to zoom in and keep everything nice and, and crisp. Uh, and when I save my files, I scale it down to 50%, which brings it back down to 300 so the printer um, won't I won't have large files when I upload to the uh, on-demand printers. Um, but um, I will suggest, though, that if you are thinking, uh, I'm only going to do webcomics, so all I need is 72. Um, 
but if my webcomic becomes successful I'll then put it in print what I would suggest to you is to work in 300 and scale it down because you can always scale down but scaling up becomes very pixelated so um, if you work in 72 and you want to go to print don't think that you can scale up and it'll still look nice um, I would suggest you work with 300 you can always scale down and then if your webcomic becomes successful then you can use your original 300 DPI files for the printer next is the color or grayscale or black and white uh, if you're doing a black and white comic I would suggest using grayscale if you're doing uh, color obviously color um, leave the frequency 60 that's fine but uh, the monochrome is strictly just black and white there is no in between so um, that's why I, for black and white comics I would suggest grayscale because more than likely you are gonna have some shading or some um, gradient in your uh, black and white comics um, so I would suggest uh, even though it's a black and white comic use grayscale now if it's strictly just black and white I mean no gradients whatsoever yeah you can go ahead and use monochrome but I would stick with gray um, and then um, the color of the paper I would keep it white just like in real life um, so now the binding or uh, this is like the the trim um, Kablam suggested 6.75 and 10.25 6.75 and 10.25 now you'll notice that my canvas changed and that is because this bleed width here I'm gonna put zero he oh, sorry about that I hit enter I'm going to leave it at zero and then go back and change this back to the original and there we go and so you have your your canvas size and you have your uh, trim and the next thing is your the inner border so your your safe zone this is where all your artwork will be safe 6.25 and uh, 9.75 I would leave the offset uh, 0 and 0 because um, the offset is how you want your safe zone centered on the page and I want it exactly centered so I'll leave that 0 0 um, deselect all these other options we're not going to do multiple pages or a cover page right now this is for like when you're creating your whole comic book um, but for right now we're, I'm just creating a template for one page so these are the dimensions uh, the resolution and everything looks good so um, go back here and call our YouTube comic template and so before we hit OK, what I would suggest is click this little save button here and call your preset something. Uh, so I would American style comic. And these are what you want saved. So if you want to say, yes, always use 300 uh, DPI, uh, click this yes always use white paper click this uh, we don't have any page settings or cover settings or folio settings so don't worry about these uh, but usually uh, you can unselect this and it'll go to the default the default being 350 dpi and then you can change it to whatever you want but if you always know that you're gonna work with 300 go ahead and save it and so you hit OK and so now that creates a a preset for you so the software already comes with uh, multiple presets these are standard industry presets um, even comic book pages but you'll notice that these dimensions are, are slightly different um, than what Kablam but pretty much in the ballpark but a 
again, I like I created my own called Western Comic, um, where I work with 600 DPI, um, and then of course the one we just created now, the American style, which is 300 DPI. So it, I'll, it, it's up to you on what what settings you want to save. And so um, when you hit OK, then here you have your uh, comic book page, and so here you'll have your your uh, your safe zone uh, so anything in here is safe um, all your drawings all your word balloons all your text um, everything in here is safe now the uh, anything out here in this area here um, the trim area this might get trimmed or this might not get trimmed it's unclear because if you're looking at page one, the staples will be the staples will be on this side. So there might be it might be stapled here, it might be stapled here, and so when somebody opens the book, this tiny bit of artwork is lost. If you're looking at page two, um, then or page um yes uh no page two would still be on this side page one would be on this side so the staples would either come be on this side or the, the other side either way you're you're losing a marginal amount of uh, artwork so if you had a a word balloon that was something like this um you know this this might get trimmed here and this might not get trimmed here so you'll have a word balloon that that looks like this and that's that's not good it's not recommended um, so always keep your um, your word balloons inside um, the safe area so you you want your word balloons to be in here where it's nice and safe and so and then of course this outside here this uh, this is the bleed this is for sure definitely going to get trimmed it's going to be lost so um, if you have a scene where it's um, a panoramic of some mountains um, make sure the important part of this panoramic scene is in this area here and not over here because it will be lost so and that pretty much is how you create a template um, in uh, Clip Studio Paint to uh, for a what I like to call a Western style comic book. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If it helped out, uh, give it a thumbs up. Um, comment down below. Let me know what you think. How do you guys create uh, templates? Also, um, that if you have a comic book that you're working on I'd, I'd love to hear about it I'm working on a comic book myself um, I don't want to say too much because I just started but I might be posting videos about that um, I'll probably also be uploading more uh, Clip Studio Paint uh, tutorials on you know just stuff that I've been learning that uh, I found very difficult to uh, to learn from the software because software can be uh, this software can be very overwhelming um, from what I heard this is better than Photoshop especially if you're creating comics because it uh, it almost gives you the tools of Photoshop but a more uh, geared towards comic book creators so um, so yeah uh, make sure to subscribe to see further Clip Studio Paint tutorials. I appreciate you guys watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one.